Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Trying something new with this video. Um, kind of just figured out how to do this effect. Kind of don't like it, but it is what it is. So, I am going to now fix the color. Because this is actually starting to hurt my head. Um, prop is it proper? No, not properties. Uh, color effect. Oh, okay. Something about oh contrast. That's like zero contrast. Okay. Black to nothing to. Um. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm working with. Either. I'm going to try to improve the brightness. Uh, I updated OBS and that is why I have like, have to redo everything because I had to reinstall the new, the new thing. So that was fun. I'm still not happy with that, but eh. Uh, can I? In what happened? That would give it glow. I don't want glow. Uh, I also don't have my webcam in the right spot, but eh. Uh, okay. I'm done monkeying with that. Not really work why I want it, but whatever. Um, can't really see my mic. It's like in the darkness, like, and I, I, it's like radio, but you, you cannot see it unless I. Oh well. No idea. I just have a giant black box. God, I'm so finicky with that. Um, anyways, it's the new yo, so starting off with that. Good, goodbye 2019, hello 2020, and hopefully it'll be a better yo. <laughs> Though, probably not, because humanity sucks currently. Humanity continues to disappoint. Not going to get into that, but if you're not following me on Instagram and you happen to see that post, yes, you will know what I am hinting at. Not going to get into it because I'm the 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 post I will read or will say is this. Like I'm gonna that's starting to bits me. My cat is uh. I really do not. Yeah. This is so finicky with this. Uh, sorry. I'm just having one of those weird days where it's like, uh, nothing's where I need it to be. Probably, I don't know. Well, you can kind of see my mic now, but whatever. Um. I'm just finicky right now, like, uh, stressing, um, not gonna get into that, but it, it has nothing to do with, uh, Instagram, so no worries now, it's just life is being very dramatic right now. And that's actually quite common, because I've been following posts about the Commander, Astar, or whatever it's called, and I was listening to those posts, and they talked about this, and so it's no surprise that something is happening uh, to me. Maybe. Keyword, maybe. Anyways, back to the Instagram humor that I wanted to discuss. Most people 
do not understand my humor or understand sarcasm, my sarcasm, my humor. How do I view that? I definitely do not speak human. Then, I am an alien, obviously. Yay, alien! The world around me is alien to me. So everyone around me is the alien, and I'm not the alien. They are. Key word: demons will be demons. And that's kind of what happened. A person lashed out at me for my smug remark, and I'm looking at it like, dude, I was being sarcastic. I was he- being humor, and you lash out at me for that. And I go, okay, fine. You want to be like that? Block. I'm not gonna take take your crap. And that happened <laughs> yesterday, so end of 2019 was a a bane to my not ego. What's the other word? Confidence. Yeah, that's that's the word. It hit my confidence because I posted a special effect video, and the guy was like, "What's this?" And I'm like, "How vague can you be?" So I. Did I was sarcastic and like, so you're telling me you don't know what special effects are? You never seen a slideshow before? And I was laughing with my emotes instead of saying LOL, I did laughing emote and he lashed out at me and I'm like, dude, who got in your butthole, crawled up you and just died? Obviously, he's a demon. And I don't speak that language. Again, me being funny. This isn't about a anger post. It's about I don't speak human. I'm the alien, and I'm just laughing my butt off at it because here I go again trying to interact with a person, and it suddenly backfires on me again. And then I see this other post. Well, this is actually ties into. Put out the energy, and people who are meant for you will find you. Meaning, you create your own community, your own people, and they will come to you. This person is not of my community, and I'm okay with that. You know, I've I've met people who support me, who don't lash out at me. I speak their language; they speak mine. We cool, we happy, we hip,、uh, whatever the cool kids say these days.、Um, but yeah, that's kind of what what the ending theme was for 2019, going into 2020. You are creating your own、uh, your own community, and I am being very picky while my microphone sits right now because I was feeling like. It was covering my lips, so I do apologize for that. I kind of glanced because right now on this monitor it's completely black, and on my other one it's not as black. So、uh, right here, this pink thing is my microphone. It circumfered. Yeah. Anyways, theme for twenty twenty: make your own community. Be happy. Find the people that support you. Stay with that crowd. If they go awry, awry, kick them out. And I had to do that. End 2019 on that anger note, baseball note. But reminder: demons will be demons. People who do not speak your language will attack you. This was not criticism. It was a pure insult. Keyword: insult, not criticism. And if that's ridicule, then no, I'm not putting up with that garbage. And a person actually told me, if you don't want to be ridiculed, 
You should never post anything online. Did someone drop you on your head? Because that, to me, literally makes no sense. And who are you to tell me what to do like that? On a, but again, that that's 2019 drama. We don't need that in 2020, especially at the start of the year. But this is, well, the problem was I could not record until now, a week later. So, uh, with my microphone, I could have done it, diff uh, like a, just the audio, but I wanted everything. But apparently this, can I like reset my freaking video capture device? Because this is just so irritating me right now. I'm trying to like, yeah, that's kind of. I'm being very, very picky, and I do apologize for that. Um, better, I guess. Uh, kinda still don't like it because of all the garbage around me, but... I mean, it's not really garbage, it's just... Well, that sack back there is for my art supply that has nothing in it, so it's just sitting there. Uh, then you got... Well, the snack food, gamer here, snack food, and whatever else is on her side of the room. So I will now try to cover that up because I, I don't like to have that in my thoughts. Filters. I blame, I, d I need a freaking, my light is up all the way and you can't even see my freaking microphone. So, I'm just being really picky right now, and I just have no idea why. Okay, I hate her side of the room as well. It's because we have really no uh, organization here, meaning proper... Okay, from, from my side of the room, what do I need? I need a freaking cabinet or something for all my my art supplies. Do I have that? No. So, it sits on my desk, taking up space, and I'm, I'm like, really? Can I get any... I'm being really picky right now. I just, I don't know why. It's prob probably because I just wanted to just you know, hang out, chat. Actually, I like that. Okay, keep it there. Let me see if I c if this light is up all the way. But I bet you it is. It is. So how do I? Uh, I need a light room right now. Adobe light room. I need you right now. But OBS does not have that. Properties, not properties. Wait, can can I configure the U? Maybe? Oh. I might be able... Oh. Okay. That's... Dang, uh, not what I was... Default, just default right now. Back, backlight? What's this? Okay. It's blurry, but I'll take it. That's backlight computer. I... Auto. I don't have an auto function, okay. Oh, here's sharpness. Uh, like I said, OB I updated OBS. So I'm just going through here. Uh, gamma might stay the same. I'm happy with that, actually. Apply. Apply. Okay. I'm done being finicky right now. I could just apply. Wait. One more. One more. Uh... I do apologize. Usually I do not do this on video as well. You can tell how my brain is right now. It's like all over the place. You can't concentrate. You can't, you cannot think. 
it's just bad timing is what I mean. Okay, I got another sharpness. Okay. About, mm, that's about, uh, probably half that. Done. Okay, done. Okay. Uh, back up. Okay. And then, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna re, re, uh, back up for a minute. Starting over. One. I'm just gonna name this off the top of my head. No particular order. One. I do not speak human. Therefore, I will be last out. Because they are demons and I do not speak demon. Therefore, they are not of my community and... I will not take part in their behavior. Yeah, that's about right. Two. Theme for 2020. Create your own community. Find the people who support you and who speak your language. Therefore, you speak their language as well. And oh my god, he forgot to turn that off. I'm not even, no. It all evens only shut up. That's stupid and Lexa. Uh, uh, he, yeah, he's not even here. Uh, anyways, uh, point three. Get your brain fixed for concentration. Uh, note to self. But that's kind of what has been happening for me. Going from 2019 and then into 2020, I have literally no brain. Uh, point four, perfectionist. Can't help it. Point five, can't think. But that freaking thing going off. Uh, uh, point six. Uh, anyone who does not understand your sarcasm and your humor, they will either lash out at you for it or do nothing. And if they do lash out, Hit the block. Um, I am trying to think, but I, I everything's just blank right now. Uh, oh, that's right. Kevin, okay. Since I am now calling myself a witch of light or a druid because of nature and druidism which can be related back to Warcraft because they have druids and I don't mean the ones who attack you you're evil because there are evil people in the world and they are commonly known as warlocks I think uh, yes uh, Again, whatever culture uh, you follow. For me, I'm how I view myself, Wiccan, Druid, Nature, Light, Healer, Inspirer. -er. With that being said, I have a new name. Created my own coven name. The Scrolls of Light Coven. Instead of it, the Coven being at the beginning, which would have been the Coven of the Scrolls of Light, Maldi shortened it to the Scrolls of Light Coven. And no, this has nothing to do with Charmed. Original and the reboot. 
Well, might be, but no. This was before that. So, Priestess Moon turns into the Scrolls of Light Coven. Name that I found myself using now, especially for my Book of Light, aka Book of Shadows. Pen name is now Bayan Mystic Fay, shortened from Mystic Lux Fay, which is from my VR Avi, which I have yet to use. <laughs> more of, uh, again, I don't I feel, I, yeah, um, anyways, 2020, hopefully it will be better, it will be easy going, because 2019 was the rockiest time of your life, probably, well, it has been for me, 2020 could be better, could be worse, hard to say right now, uh, energy update, nothing out of the ordinary, I'm still the same, I'm not where I once was from 2018 or 2019, meaning, um, certain events had a pass, who was in turn made me who I am today. Without those events, would I hit rock bottom from what would it be? Well, that timeline would have been a slave, literally a slave to someone. Um, and doing whatever the per uh, that person was uh, prophesized for, except I now no longer believe in that. Nope, I don't believe in prophecies, sorry. Especially that one. Because, yeah, Book of Lies. Uh, it was meant to be though, to either break people or to lift people up. But ultimately it kind of backfired because it had, what, demonic interferences. Therefore, I cannot believe in those books, which prophesized or told you what to do. Never listen to a book Never, unless it's your own words. But I can't really do that for myself because I changed in the midst of my blog. What in the world do I mean? I changed from being into Thelema and threw that out of the window, returned to being into Wicca, calling myself a witch of light, a druid, nature, peace, balance, and seeing myself as a being of light, and everything changed. Because I did that. Oh, wait. This was already predestined somehow. Because your soul shows this path, and you either do what you're supposed to do, or you'll never understand, and you will constantly go, what? And never understand. Somehow, I broke out. I spread my winds. I found my dragon form and took to the skies, saying, hey, you can't knock me down, you can't capture me, you can't enslave me, you can't do anything to me. Because I broke free somehow and found that inner strength, that inner light. But I also found spirit guides along the way. And which reminds me, 
one of my guides. Okay, I was dreaming last night. Well, here's the thing. Okay, I wake up, I feel fully rested, I do what I normally do before I get up. This time, I'm like, okay, I'm my brain, fully rested. No, I will not get up. I want to sleep more. I want to talk to my guides in my head. So, snooze, I'm going to fall asleep, have a crazy dream, and find a new name from this spirit guide from a dream. What? Like, how does this happen? Like, this never happens to me. The only time, not the only time, but okay. Whenever I meet someone in a dream, I, A, wake up right when I touch them, I mean, and hold their hand, or hug them, or we start to talk and I just wake up. Never get a name, never speak to them after I wake up. This, this time, I wake up from this dream, and I start to talk to this entity from my dream. Turns out, somehow, I astral projected either into the friggin' future, another timeline, or remote viewed? I don't know. Well, you, you, uh, you have to astral project because that are, that is what dreams are. You leave your body somehow and you dream. I don't know how it works, but keyword, astral projection and dreams. They go hand in hand and somehow maybe I should just start from the beginning of that dream because crazy. Okay, so I'm doing a repeat dream, deja vu dream, I don't know why. And then it changed. I can't really remember the beginning, but I remember exiting the house, so I'm standing in the front yard, looking up at the night sky, and I say something, and then all of a sudden, I, okay, th this part kind of freaked me out because, well, in the dream, I, I was shocked, okay, so I teleport into another body, I think, or another version of me, which it could be the future, I don't really know. So I'm in this classroom setting, I'm in front of a group of people who has black shirts on, I, I think it's a dance room? I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I think I was doing a ballerina spin and Instead of doing finishing it, I fall to the side, on my side, to the ground, uh, the mat, blue mat, because I am shocked to see all these people in front of me sitting down in these black shirts, and I go, what? How am I here all of a sudden? What is happening? What is going on? What, what was I doing? And I don't know. I... I wake up in this body who was either doing a ballerina twirl or was just spinning or t turning, I, I don't know, and seeing these people in front of me, and I'm like, what? So after I, I fall to my side onto the mat, I go over, sat down next to this teacher, apparently, I asked him what was I doing or something, but I can't remember what he said. The last thing I asked him was, you can read my soul from my eyes, right? So he leans into me. I open my eye wider, so I do basically like this. Open my eyes real wide, and he literally read 
the darkness versus the light from my eyes and gave me numbers and I'm like wait is this really happening what's going on here why did I ask him that and he, he I think he said 0.18% of darkness and as for the light I couldn't uh, I didn't really capture that but I don't know and after that I wake up and somehow I was still talking to this spirit guide and I'm like what so and then later I get a name this just entered my head and the name is Terry Lon Vaughan that's his name that appealed in my dream and who then later appealed after I woke up we were still talking and then later I got his name echoing in my head this is not the first time that I heard a name in my head echoing my guardian angel whose name is Ezekiel appealed in the same way but now a totally different name who came prior from a dream what what that means I don't know for me it's pr prob it has something to do with shadow work that I have to heal because I was, this kind of was forgotten, kind of just buried in the past. So I'm talking more than 10 years ago. Okay. So it would, I don't even know anymore. I'm not going to count the years. So I'm going to say 15 years ago, around this time, I was saying things like, I'm a demon, I'm evil, I'm a monster. I'm darkness, I'm into the devil, I'm into demons, let me summon one. Like, what? This is my younger self thinking all these thoughts. Why? I had demonic influences and did not even know it. That is, you heard me right. I had demonic influences did not even know they were there until many years later so fast forward into the present i'm still carrying that baggage still think i'm evil oh let me meet my horrible demonic ex who i never met who then told me a name and i wound up finding this book who i found which I found previously however I forgot about this book so then this person told me about the book again and something changed in me and I woke up from that wheeled you're a demon no you're not you're something else but you don't know what oh wait I feel like I'm a dragon maybe I'm that who knows so you go from this weird transition where you're, you think you're a demon only to discover you're not that but you still don't know what you are you're moving away from thinking you're a demon and then one day you wake up hey you know what I'm light I'm an earth angel I'm a dragon I'm a phoenix I'm a freaking unicorn uh, so you get from that weird transition and I don't know and then all of a sudden you're like what because you totally forgot that happened makes you wonder and then that that dream happens and you're sitting here and going why did this dream happen did is it real or am I making this up? No, nope, it's a much is from the gods and you're now like waking up from it. Like you're now oh, that's why it happened. 
Now I get it. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what happened uh, at the last day of 2019. I get that dream, then I get this name, and now sitting 2020, reading, you get the answer. Like, oh, that's why it happened. That's why I had that dream. Me, still doing the mission, still doing the great work that I, why I, ugh, why I'm on Earth, still doing it, even after I was called a demon. So, the event, okay, let me back up. Ten years ago, you think you're a demon. And 2019, you made a person who accuses you of being a selfish and a demon, even though you had given them no reason to believe that. Yet, they got under your skin and literally ripped your core out. But they didn't. Because you never changed, you never gave up the light. You never stopped doing the great work. Sure, you got distracted here and there, but ultimately you are sharing your personal experiences with the world in hopes of, well, they get something out of it. Do not make the same mistake I do. I am your inspiration beacon. I'm not going to rise above you. Well, the same level. We are both learning. We are not masters of this life yet. We have much to do. There is more work to be done. We are continuing to learn every day and in every moment. No one is a master yet. No one. I have never met one of those monks, so I cannot say, well, they are, but it's about balance, it's about knowing your soul, knowing exactly what you are, and maybe knowing your past life, etc. So the, the pain that I felt was, and I didn't even, it just hit me right, right now, 2019, the guy called you a demon. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I used to believe I was evil. That I was a spawn of the devil who came to Earth who, for who knows what reason. Oh, let me find more demons to hang out with. I don't know. I was a totally different person back then. On the wrong path. However, if I never did that, I would have not learned about certain... No, I didn't learn anything, did I? No, I didn't. Other than... Um, be careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, demons will try to distract you from your work. Demons will try to tell you down. But ultimately, they lift you up. If you rise above the darkness, Break in chains, break in curses, break in spells. Uh, for me, looking back at that time, it's like, the only thing I got out of that was to know about the chakras, aura, meditation, and that's it. Um, that's all I learned uh, back then. Started out as a lost soul, wounds up in Satanism, then leaves that for various other left-hand paths, only to then be nothing again, only to then say, look at me, I'm a witch of the light, I'm a light being, I'm an earth angel, I have dragon magic. So you go from darkness and you wind up back into light only to discover you were always in light in the first place. 
you had to grow from this darkness. Your tears watered you, and you bloomed into something. You had no idea you were like this. Um. But you forgot. You were called. You. You forgot. You had to. That is so annoying. That freaking Alexa. You instantly will shut up. I think. I'm starting over. Nope. I I don't have a brain right now. You forgot you called yourself a demon. You believed this person who called you a demon only to realize you had you needed to heal your previous wounds when you believed you were a demon, but then later you completely metamorphosized into what you are supposed to be. However, you never truly healed it. Maybe, somewhere, in the back of your mind, you still believe you are this evil fiend. And when this person called you out on it, you... I don't know, your whole world shattered. And you're sitting here, even now, saying, how am I supposed to heal this. I'm like, it is what it is, but this person is wrong. But somehow I still think in the back of my head, maybe there's a part of me that still is a demon. Oh, wait. It's not a demon. It's a freaking vampire. Uh, sorry, um, that 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 joke is going over your head because uh, for me vampires were always my thing even when i was little always a vampire not so much demon even though they are considered to be demonic however Wait, what, what's the one that I'm thinking of? Uh, Vampire Notebook? <laughs> no, I can't think of the movie name right now, but that's the one that I was really into. I, I can't think of the name. I wish I could. Okay, how about this? I don't know if this is a thing or not. No, I'm probably thinking of Robocop. Anyways, what if you play a vampire who kills evil people? You know, murderers, rapists, muggers. What if the vampire is killing those people to save the innocent? Yeah, you're probably never gonna see that on, on Earth. Uh, but, what if the vampire is here to do good and not be this evil a monster like we think he is? Yeah, I must have twisted that because everyone says vampires are evil. No, no, no. Uh, no, I... Mm -mm. I, I'm trying to think if the, the I should have probably did that research uh, before I said that, but for me, it's again, that joke is flying over your head. Okay, so you have a way, there is a, a movie, but well, the vampire was the good guy. I don't know the name, but I know the ending. Um, 
basically what happened was there was okay you have a human you have a vampire the vampire is the curse and they had to break it turns out the vampire knew how uh, from a book and somehow they managed to follow through with it and killed the vampire so now they can save the whole planet so vampire is being a good guy and the other vampire who wanted to continue the blood to continue being a vampire was the villain and he got off he, I mean and he died so there are some movies where the vampire is not the villain sometimes he's the good guy uh but yeah that's kind of if i was a vampire i would be going after bad guys and did not the innocent so for me i'm not a demon i'm not evil i'm a freaking vampire who's going to come after the bad guys and just kick them kick the butts if i could uh but i do that anyways with with my before i block the trolls i tell them off as i troll back um i know i shouldn't but i sometimes it just depends on the situation like this this last person who tried to troll me i said okay you want to insult me you're who <laughs> so hey smart ass i wasn't a smart ass i was being sarcastic but i completely left that out i said uh my comment read rude dot 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 uh i wasn't a smart ass like you think you troll I forgot to say, hey, I was being sarcastic, lay off, but I blocked the person anyways. So for me, I'm fire, the claws come out, when you try to attack me, I defend myself, and I troll back, it's fell game. Yes, it's wrong, but when you're dealing with a demon, they don't, they don't know any better. And sometimes you need to say fuck off or fuck you. So don't feel bad about saying that. I never have. I will never have a filter. I say whatever. And has it got a man trouble? Plenty of times. Do I care? <laughs> I just laugh at it saying, you know what? I'm a fireball. I do whatever. I'm a Natsu. So, yeah, just being me, so I can't be mad. It's just my, it's just my personality. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... I feel like Hazel next up right now. Um, new OBS, hopefully it'll do good. Uh, had to put everything back in. That's gonna be a nightmare. Um, yeah, good long video for 2020 start. Not bad for a ramble, but multiple different points for light work or topics uh shadow work is part of that so looking back i constantly do shadow work tell my life experiences beacon of hope beacon of inspiration doing what i am meant here to do and i do it any way i can including rambling about what is going on about my life sometimes it's not all bad Still, I mean, I do me, so it's good. Um, yeah. I'm... Nah. But, yeah. Until we meet again.
dude, I wanna make that super code. Bad, I wanna make it so bad. Okay, you cannot heal. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 